watching television is an extremely passive process that makes people more suggestible. And this is something that I think a lot of people, you know, don't really tune into when they're sitting there in that passive state watching this stuff. The solo Brit Dad O'Brien clip where she's clashing with John Lott. As their argument begins, what is the title on the screen? It says, saying goodbye, Newtown prepares to bury school shooting victims. And in the Piers Morgan video, where Piers Morgan is talking to Larry Pratt, as their argument heats up, the title says, Newtown Tragedy, 20 children, 6 adults killed. These people who are in this more passive state, they're taking that information in, and they don't even realize, I think, that their opinion is being manipulated by that juxtaposition. They have a big running start for that, too, right? Because people already are scared of guns, and I think for good reason, because of the media. Like, whether we're talking about Hollywood or television, the only people that we ever see using guns are cops, soldiers, and criminals. And those folks are always shooting people, right? right? So guns are terrifying, and they have that momentum that they can use, this public perception of what a gun is because of whose hands they always show the gun being in people who shoot people and i think this might teach us a lesson about how we actually engage people in real life piers morgan does call larry pratt an incredibly stupid man but this is a 12 minute clip that happens i think more than halfway into it so it's not like piers morgan does this poisoning the wealth where he says ladies and gentlemen an incredibly stupid man Larry Pratt (laughs) you know it's something that happens after the conversation gets heated now what gets Pierce Morgan angry well what it seems to be is that Larry Pratt has a lot of facts about this issue And Piers Morgan really just has like one or two points that he wants to continuously hammer home. Piers Morgan has the demeanor in these discussions of like a pitching machine. The ball comes out, you hit it. It never turns around and looks and says, wow, you know, good hit. It just lobs another ball right after that. So no matter what you do with what it throws at you, its only response is to send another ball a few seconds later. And that's what Piers Morgan looks like in these discussions, indicating that he's not there to have discussion at all, but to push an agenda. So it's when Larry Pratt continuously bats away his talking points with facts on this issue that Piers Morgan becomes more hostile. The more you throw at people who are really hanging on to some kind of comfortable belief system, the more hostile they are going to become. So you have to be polite about how you introduce these things to other people. And it's not because they're stupid. It's not because they're immature. It's just a a heightened emotional state that they are put into because of this political topic because that's what politics is. It's an arena where people can act out these irrational emotions. So what I would say is instead of trying to shove a bunch of facts in somebody's face, ask them questions, right? Let them watch their argument fall apart that way if they will you know and some people you might just find are not worth talking to but the inquisitive approach is much better than just trying to hammer somebody with facts because the truth is they're not listening anyway you have to take the temperature of that conversation down You have been saying that anybody who disagrees with your position is absurd, idiotic, and doesn't care about the dead kids in Sandy Hook. And then when I say that that's a bully tactic, you turn around and say, I'm bullying you for saying that. It's absurd. It's ridiculous. Let me ask you again. What is the point of a civilian having an AR-15 assault weapon? Bye, Johnny.